Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now we are going to discuss the remaining problematic things, whatever we didn't discuss in the previous video. So, June 2009, paper 1, we didn't discuss some of the problematic. Uh, things so the problematic questions so those problematic questions once again i am going to repeat now okay once again i am going to uh, explain and solve now okay so look at the question number 23 here in the question number 23 a sum of money doubles at compound interest in six years in how many years will it become 16 number of the times the options are given as 16 18 24 and 96 the solution for such a kind of the questions is very simple that means in a short time we have to complete the solution we have to find out the answer for such kind of the mathematical questions in the nta net so for this we have to solve first of all uh, first first of all what it has given so the sum of the money let us consider the sum of money as x as x okay so it doubles in uh, doubles in compound interest uh, in uh, how many years compound interest doubles in six years so it doubles in six years okay so uh, again it can doubles the sum of money doubles six years is equal to some six okay again the sum of money two that becomes it becomes as 2x again it becomes as 4x in 12 years again it becomes 8x as uh, 4 doubles as 8 in 18 years and again it doubles 16x as 24 years like that we have to add 6 doubles for each and every doubling the value it requires 6 many number of the years so to increase 16 number of the times how much uh, time it requires so how many uh, um, number of the years it requires that is nothing but uh, 16 times it has to increase for this it requires 24 number of the years so option 3 is the answer and 24 is the answer for this question okay we go for the next question now and now see the next question that is question number 24 the question number 24 is given as for all integers that uh, y greater than uh, 1 into y 2y plus 2y minus 1 plus 2y minus 2 plus 1 dash 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 plus 1 then what is the value of 3 into 2 where x is the multiplication operator okay so this is the question asked and the options are given as 116 and uh, 210263 and 478 we have to calculate it and we have to find the answer for this what is the given equation now the given equation for this is equal to y uh, sorry y greater than 1 into y is equal to 2y plus 2y minus 1 plus 2y minus 2 plus dash dash plus 1 finally if i substitute 2 value in this equation 2 if i substitute 3 into 2 are there first of all i want to substitute 3 that is equal to 2 into 3 plus 2 into 3 minus 1 plus 2 into 3 minus 2 plus 2 into 3 minus 4 okay plus 1 that is equal to 6 plus 5 plus 4 plus uh, 2 into 3 uh, 3 this is this one is the 3 2 into 3 is 3 plus 2 into 3 minus 4 plus 1 that is equal to 6 minus 4 2 plus 1 so what is the value 6 plus 5 11 11 plus 4 15 15 plus 3 18 18 plus 3 21 so i got the value as the 21 at y at 3 y at 3 i got the value as 21 like this okay now i am clearing this and i want to substitute the next one as 2 here okay so that is the 2 here so what is the 2 now whenever i substitute 2 here so what is the value I got that is equal to 2 into 2 plus 2 into 2 minus 1 plus 2 into 2 minus 2 plus 2 into 2 minus 3 plus 1. 
so what it is 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus this term is not there actually 3 is not there okay so 2 into 2 minus 1 minus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 3 10 so y at 3 we got 10 so what is the value of 3 into 2 y at 3 into y at 2 that is equal to y at 3 we got 21 into 10 that is equal to 210 we got the value as 210 so what is the option now 210 option 2 is the correct one for this so this is the answer for question number 24 okay so like this we have to calculate first we have substituted 3 here and again we have substituted uh, 2 here and we multiplied the values based on this we can solve simply this kind of the equations like this next we see the another question hi now see the next question question number 27 in a new budget the price of petrol rose by 25 percent by how much percent must a person reduce his consumption so that his expenditure on it does not increase and options are given as 10 percent 15 percent 3 20 percent 4 25 percent these are the options given we have to solve this particular problem okay so the formula for this is given as price is equal to expenditure into consumption okay so we have to find the price is equal to expenditure uh, for 25 percent is the consumption okay so the percentage is equal to 4x expenditure is equal to for example we uh, think it as the 4x in a new budget the price of petrol by by how much percent the person can reduce okay so 4x into 1 by 100 into 4x okay 1 by 100 into 25 into 4x we have converted 25 percent into percentage into 4 4 into 4 sorry this one plus plus consumption okay expenditure plus consumption this is 4x plus x this is that is equal to 5x the formula is price is equal to expenditure plus consumption so price is equal to expenditure 4x plus 25 percent of the consumption i have converted the 25 percent into 1 by 100 into 25 that is equal to 5x sorry 5 that is equal to 5 so what is the ratio that is 4 is to 5 the rate the percentage increased as 5 percent okay so we have to convert this 5 into percentage that is equal to 5 into 1 by 100 okay so 1 by 5 sorry this can be converted into the percentage that is equal to 1 by 5 into 100 that is equal to 20 so 20 percent of the consumption his expenditure on it does not increase so the percentage the person reduce his consumption is nothing but 20 percent so what is the option for this is option number three so 20 percent is the correct answer for this question and the UGC net we have solved question number 23 question number 24 and question number 27 if at all such a kind of the questions are given then you have to use this formula price is equal to expenditure plus consumption suppose the expenditure is equal to 4x okay then plus 25 percent that is equal to 4x plus 1 by 100 into 25 into 4x into 25 percent it is increased no? so into 4x so that is equal to 4x plus x that is equal to 5 so 5 is the number we have to convert it in the form of the percentage we got the 20 percent like this you can solve such kind of the questions like this okay next we see the comprehension table will be there so based on the table how many questions we got we will see after this okay